So Wigovi includes warnings of mental health side effects, but Ozempic's label doesn't. Why? If you're someone who's contemplating going on a GLP-1 for weight loss, such as Wigovi, but also deal with mental health issues like depression or anxiety, this video is for you. In short, more research is needed on the effects of weight loss medications and mental health, but the doctors are weighing in on this topic and here are three different theories. First, some table setting. The active ingredient in both Wigovi and Ozempic is semaglutide. Semaglutide mimics a naturally occurring hormone in our bodies called GLP-1. GLP-1s in high doses act on the part of our brain that controls hunger. It's part of how these medications help us lose weight. And when any kind of medication tries to shut off our appetite, a number of other things can happen in the brain, including depression and anxiety. So with that said, theory number one, Wigovi has a higher amount of semaglutide than Ozempic, which may be why mental health side effects were seen in Wigovi clinical trials versus Ozempic. Theory number two, the starting psychological and mental state of patients taking Wigovi for weight loss versus Ozempic for type 2 diabetes. Research shows that emotional and psychological behaviors affecting control over eating and satiety are associated with obesity and depression. Just think about it, stress eating, emotional eating, eating as a coping mechanism for many things, as well as the social attitude towards obese or overweight people. Number three, the pure size of the clinical trials and the way data is collected. The Gobi clinical trials included 3,500 obese or overweight people, but there are now millions of people being prescribed these GLP-1 injectables. Now, in the case of Wigovi, while the study omitted people with major depression, it did include about 15% of people taking antidepressants for disorders like anxiety, depression, panic disorders. Once a medication is available to the public, doctors are supposed to report negative side effects to the FDA adverse event reporting system. For this very reason, medications are now being taken by an exponentially greater patient pool. The FDA reviews these reports, there's additional research done, and the FDA can choose to update the labels. So if you think you're experiencing mental health side effects while on these medications, contact your doctor immediately. He or she will try to find the lowest therapeutic dose while minimizing these side effects. They may take you off the medications and put you on them again just to isolate the true cause of the side effects, or they may just change you to an alternative medication altogether. 